welcome back to the Regimentals YouTube channel. Uh, I haven't done a video for a couple of weeks. Um, it's now summertime. I've been away on holiday. Uh, went to Boston, as you can see. Um, I was in uh, Washington, D.C. working on the last stages of Volume 1 Africa Corps, which is now in print. So here's a chance to remind you to get your pre-order in uh, because the book will be with us very soon. Um, so after being in DC, I went to Boston and to Martha's Vineyard, which I can highly recommend. It's a really lovely place. Um, it's New England, Cape Cod area, uh, very exclusive. And then uh, on the day that I arrived back from Boston, I flew to Australia, um, to Sydney, where my son was competing in the Karate World Championships. Um, he, uh, he won a bronze medal, so he's third now, in third in the world. Uh, for Kumite, which is fighting. Um, he obviously was competing within his age group, age 12 to 13 black belts. Um, and yeah, so really pleased for him. It was um, a great experience going to Australia uh, and something that he'll always remember. So that's why I've not been here. That's why I've not done a video. Um, but now I'm back in the office and we're already getting ready for a show this weekend. It's Military Odyssey. Um, it's the UK's largest show now. Um, it spans over three three days. Um, lots of outside uh, entertainment, reenactors, and then there's lots of stall holders as well. And we make a really big effort for this show. We take a lot of stuff with us. Um, we highly recommend you try and get there. And if you are going to the show and there's something specific you want to see, let us know and we'll make sure we bring it down to the show for you to see. So this video um, is kind of like showing you the unglamorous side of, of Militaria. It's clips of me getting ready for the show. It can be dirty, it's quite hard work, lots of lugging around, um, getting our, our, our storage equipment, our, our show equipment from storage. Um, and I'll show you a few clips of me loading the glass cases um, because people uh, see us at the show and they just think we, we appear with all this stuff in glass cases. Well, it takes a lot of preparation. Um, Added to that, I'm just going to feature a few pieces which have just gone onto our website from uh, the last update. Um, so people viewing the website regularly will have seen these on the website. Um, so I'm just going to give it a slight push for the YouTube video. And the first thing I wanted to show you was this um, Bavarian M15 Blueser. It's the late war uh, German World War I tunic. Got the very light, late war um, upper breast pockets and the barrel cuffs. Um, it's stamped inside, I think it's dated 1917. Um, but a very nice thing, and the nice thing about it is the machine gunner's patch on the arm sleeve there. Uh, very rare. 19th Regiment, late war, officer's shoulder balls. So that's a nice thing for the update. Um, as well, we have this really iconic looking SS Crusher cap. Look at the shape of it. It's really shaped into a lovely style. You can see by its flexibility how it's a Crusher cap with the flexible peak. Um, any Waffen SS cap is, is a lot of money now. They're highly desirable, but one in this iconic shape is um, a real bonus, and that, that will uh, make someone very happy. There's a little bit of damage, but an absolutely fantastic thing. Um, back to First World War German, um, always popular is brow plates. This is the armoured brow plate that goes onto the front of an M16 helmet. Um, this is a complete set, helmet with brow plate, just gone on the website, and they never last long. Um, the iconic, one of the iconic items of trench war militaria. And then at the front here, we have this really special, fantastic group of free Indian stuff. Now, that is a, a whole topic on itself to talk about for a long time. It's the, it's the Indian volunteers who fought for the Germans, mostly in Africa, um, but there were other places they fought. And this is a whole group of stuff, all the medals, um, the whole range of medals, all the way through of all the um, Azar Hind, uh, which is the Free India Legion uh, Award. Um, what I particularly like is these Bevo vo foreign volunteer arm patches. I've always liked them. I've always thought they're one of the most attractive pieces of militaria, um, just the colors and, and the imagery on it. And there's two of them in this collection. So um, I'd highly, highly recommend reading the description of the Free India Group on the website. Um, so that's just a brief uh, show of some items that we've recently got into stock. Um, but the rest of the video is just me getting ready for the show and we're hoping we can see you there.
So as you saw in this video, uh, sometimes it's unglamorous, it's mucky um, and hard work. So we'll be at the show now uh, for the next few days. We are going to update this weekend, but please bear in mind there'll be uh, no one available to answer all of your messages. Um, as you can see from the shelves behind me, I, I pack quite a lot of our stock. So um, we'll have a nice big display at the show. Um, and hopefully we'll see many of you there. So please come by and say hello. Thanks for watching. Uh, as I said, we're uploading the uh, website uh, Friday as normal. Um, and um, I hope you're enjoying our social media activity, which has um, been quite active recently. So thanks for watching.